Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Praise you. Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You write it as standing on the promises I now can see. Perfect press and cleansing in the blood for me. Thank you. Praise you. Father. Standing in the liberty where Christ makes free. Hallelujah. Stand on the promises of God. Master, I give you thanks and I give you praise. Thank you, thank you. Oh God, I honor you, I magnify you, I extol you, I worship you. For you are the righteous and holy one. You are the omnipotent, omnipresent Lord. You are the great I am. You are the faithful witness. You are the king above all kings and God above all gods. We bless and adore you this evening, dear Father. We thank you for the awesome privilege, dear Lord, that we can enter your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you today, Lord, and we bless your name. For you alone is good, dear Lord God. Hallelujah. And to all generations, yes. your goodness is and their Lord God far and wide, dear God. There is no way and there's no place in this universe that your, your, your goodness is born of health. So we extol you, Father. Yes, oh, Lord. God, we thank you. Here, that just so Lord, but so great. Glory be to your name. Glory There's to nothing you. that you can't do. Oh, Glory Father. to your name. Glory Father. to your name. Yahweh! You are a great God. You are a good God. You are the mighty God. You are the God above all gods and the King above all kings. Hallelujah. Mind presence honoring you for who you are, dear God. You alone is God. There is none besides you behind you, on the side of you, dear God. And there'll never be none after you. You alone is the Alpha. For no mega, oh, so we dear Father, for this time we come together, dear Lord God, around the persons of your Son Jesus Christ, yes. uh, and and I for us that we can have this privilege to enter into the throne room, dear Lord God, ah yes. uh, Lord God, not being afraid, dear Lord God, or rejected Father. We thank you that we are welcome into the throne room and as we speak, thank you for the welcome dear God yes, we pray Lord. for every home and every family dear God that will be on this time today dear father we Praise. thank you dear God that you meet each and every one at the point of their greatest need and satisfy their, leap, their deepest you. longing father we thank you dear God for our heart of gratitude a heart of praise and thanksgiving in spite of what we may be going through through, in spite of where we may we, we are at this time in our lives, you, Father God, has done great things. You, you brought us from a mighty long way. You save us and deliver us and set us free and call yeah. us into your ministry, dear Lord God. You give us Hashem in durable Kura garments of righteousness. Garments of praise, dear Lord God. We thank you, oh God, oh Father God. Ah, oh, we was nothing when you found us, dear Lord. God, but you made us your very own, your treasure, dear Lord God, yes, your jewel. Hallelujah. And you give us, dear Lord God, a song in our heart, dear Lord God, that we can sing to you, dear Father, that we can glorify you for all that you are. Oh God, praise I love you. I love you, Father. I love you and I praise you. I thank you, dear Father. Praise I you, bless Father. Praise you, Lord God. I say, how be your way in our lives? We come against their Lord God. Every symptom, dear Lord God, of the Corona. And Lord, as we have already declared that it has no power in our lives. Hallelujah. In the lives of our family, in the lives of our family members, our neighborhood, our community, dear God. Those, dear Lord God, that you've connected us to, we thank you right now, dear Lord God, for the blood that covers us and yes. protects us and keeps, dear Lord. We give you the thanks and the praise. Hallelujah. Dear 
any other sickness that tried to come. We know that you was wounded for our transgressions. Thank you for it. was bruised for our iniquities. Yes. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripe, we yes, are here. Lord, we thank you for it, dear God. We thank take you. all of those promises, dear Lord God, because we're standing on every promise you've made to us, yes, Father, Lord, Lord. because we know that they cannot fail. Hail there, Lord God. Thank we you, thank Lord. you for the howling storms of doubt and fear of stay. By the word of God, we shout for the Yes, Lord. Against Alleluia. all odds, we shall prevail. Alleluia. Because we're standing on your eternal promises, dear Lord. Alleluia. 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 The word that the heaven and earth must have passed away. Alleluia. 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 Never passed away. We thank give you, Lord. Thanks. And we give you the praise for it. And Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. 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 Come on. Can everybody just give an amen there? Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 We stand on his word. We thank him for the privilege of prayer. Thank you. Uh, we thank him that the earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of the righteous is still powerful. It is still effective. It has tremendous power and it's dynamic in its working. And so we are grateful that we have another, yet another opportunity to be able to come together um, in this time of prayer. We are so grateful that the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and we are thanking him that he, his eyes are on us and he, 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 his ears are attentive. His ears are open to our cry. For this we are truly, truly grateful to know. It's so good to have every one of you again around the table this evening. Uh, we are so thankful that um, we are able to come together and encourage each other. These weeks have really been such a tremendous blessing um, we, as we've come together and we have learned so much from each other and as we continue to put a mark on the heads of all those who have been called to the ministry of prayer and we continue steadfastly in prayer and as the word of God tells us and being watchful you know with thanksgiving and so before we do anything else, I just want to ask us just for a few moments to just give thanks, to give thanks with a grateful heart. Do not um, mute your microphones as yet, but just go ahead and just give him thanks. Give him thanks for this privilege. Everyone does not have this awesome privilege that we have come together in this manner, come together on this call. So thank him. He kept you through the day. Thank him. He kept you through the week. Thank him. He kept you through the month. Thank him. He kept you through the years. Thank him. He kept you from you, you from you in the womb of your mother. So let's go, go ahead and just give him some thanks just before Shanika um, starts with the reading this evening. Go ahead and let's thank him. Take thank a few him. moments. Just take a few moments and give him thanks. Thank you. 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 We have power over us with love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've been, for all that you are, for all that you can still be. We love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. We give you the praise this evening. We honor you, our King. We honor you. All we be to your worthy and your wonderful name. All we be to your name. All we be to your name. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name.
Blessed be your holy hallelujah, name. Hallelujah, Wonderful hallelujah. Counsel, hallelujah. God, as we you say, are the mighty you king. You're the master of everything. Thank you, Jesus. We Thank praise you. you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Praise you, Father. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Shanika, if you go ahead with our reading, please. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. The scripture text is taken from John chapter 17. It's verse 9 through 23. And it reads, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for, for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Here ends the reading, and we know the word of God is already blessed. Amen. Amen and amen. Come on, let's give him thanks for his word. Come on. Thank amen. you, Father, for your word. Amen. Thank you for your word. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise. Grace and peace. Good afternoon. Good evening. Sorry, everybody. I'm still in the afternoon over here. I'm so happy to be with you all again today. And I want to thank you with all of my heart for showing up every Sunday and coming together. It is such a blessing to, to be with you all. And today, um, what's been on my heart from God to share is about us being united in the spirit. When the apostles um, met after Jesus' resurrection, the Lord told them to go ahead in the city 
and await the promise of his father to come upon them. In Luke 24, he says, Behold, I am sending the promise of my father upon you, but remain in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And as I was seeking God about this, he highlighted, you know, that oneness and that unity and the alignment of heaven for his people. Jerusalem literally means the Lord is peace. And another word for peace is oneness. And so when we speak about being one, we're speaking about being at peace with each other, being in harmony with one another. And then they were awaiting the Holy Spirit, who is also the spirit of the Lord, who is one. And to receive what they were going to get from God, they were in the place of oneness. And so we saw the alignment with God. He sent them to the place of oneness to await oneness. And they were waiting in one accord. I think that is so powerful because God said that he wanted them to proclaim the forgiveness of sins and repentance beginning in Jerusalem. The foundation is the place of oneness. The foundation is the place of peace. And this is so important because God does not want us to go out without his power. He says to wait to be sent out with power. And oneness isn't just, you know, the numerical value, it's being whole. It's a state. In Ephesians, it says there's one body and one spirit, just as we were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. And so there's levels to the oneness that God wants us to experience, that peace. But before the peace came, what comes right before peace? Righteousness. The effect of righteousness is peace. The effect of righteousness is oneness in the spirit the shalom of God, the wholeness of God. And his people, when we abide and we stay in unity with him, in agreement with him, in righteousness with him, we will experience that oneness and receive the power that we have from God to do the works of God. And what I love about it is that God doesn't want us to go out there empty-handed. He knows there's a battle. He knows there's a war. And he's saying, wait on me to equip you. Wait on, on me to give you the weapon that you need to carry out because we've heard the preaching, we've heard the teaching, we've heard the persuasive words. Paul talked about that. I did not want to come to you with persuasive words, man's wisdom, but with a demonstration of the spirit's power. He wanted action. He wanted deeds. And so God in this passage to me, he was showing his order. Wait for me in Jerusalem. Wait for me in the place of peace. Wait for me in oneness, and I'm going to come upon you and clothe you with power. The foundation is the place of peace for his people. And when we abide in that place of unity and wholeness, we can expect the manifestation of the power of God, and that is order. And when there is order, there is peace. I remember when I was um, growing up, and my mom would come home to a messy house, and it was just like, oh my gosh, she, she, she had no peace. And she was like, no, my house needs to be clean. And I didn't get it till later on, like she was saying she wanted order. There was not going to be any peace until there was order. And God is our head and he brings about order. And he wants us to look for him throughout every single thing in our life, throughout our relationships. God is one. Though he's three, he is one. He expresses himself in so many different ways. And the unity in the spirit comes through oneness, through the bond of peace. That's what it talks about. There's a bond of peace. We are connected and glued together in peace. Why is this even more so important for us advancing in the kingdom of God? Because we need the power to advance and not just any power, the higher power. He said clothed with power from on high, not the religious power, not the political power, power from on high. Hallelujah. God wants to empower us to walk in peace, to walk in oneness with him and with one another. He's determined that, that we should be demonstrations of his kingdom. And a part of that unity means that we know no man after the flesh, right? That we know no man from a worldly or human point of view because God looks at the heart, but man looks at the outer appearance. And so God wants us to protect the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace by seeking to be at peace with every single person. And then we can advance and move and take hold and demonstrate the goodness of God in the land of the living. Hallelujah. 
So let's let's pray about. Let's. I'm gonna pray from those those points. Father God, I thank you so much, Lord God, for the unity in the spirit through the bond of peace. God, I thank you for harmony, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for making your people one and manifesting that oneness, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray, God, that you will cause us to walk after the spirit, Father, to meet each other in the spirit, to know one another after the spirit, God, to pursue peace with all people and holiness, Father, for without such, no one shall see God. God, we thank you, Lord God, that we have you in common, Lord. And as your spirit came on that day, that day of Pentecost, the evidence was speaking in tongues, Lord Jesus. You impacted their language, Holy Spirit. So I thank you right now, Lord God, for impacting our language, Lord, to be able to connect with one another in the spirit. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, that you are clothing your people with power from on high, Lord Jesus to advance your kingdom on earth, Father, because you said the kingdom of God suffer with violence and the violence Hallelujah. take it by force, Father. And you have given us power to take over and to take hold of, Lord God, to bring change, Lord God, to our families and our societies, Lord Jesus. And you wanted it to begin in Jerusalem. You determined that we should wait for you in the place of peace, in the place of oneness, in the place of harmony and an agreement with you, Lord Jesus. Do it again, oh God. Clothe us with your power from on high, oh God. We cannot wage a war, Lord Jesus, without the ammunition of heaven, Lord Jesus. Without the military power of the most high God, Jehovah Gabor. God, you are a God of order and your foundation is peace, Lord Jesus. And the effect of righteousness is peace. And through, Lord God, faith, we abide in righteousness, Lord God. So strengthen the faith, Lord Jesus. Supplying what is missing in our faith today, oh God that we may hold on to righteousness that mm. brings forth peace, Lord God. Mm. God, we await in the place of peace, Lord God, for your spirit to robe us, oh, to no, no, no. us on every side, Lord Jesus, to put on the power of the Most High God, so Gosh. that on all sides, Lord God, we are conquering and taking territory for the kingdom of God. Nice. I thank you for the mantles of power, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we know God, there's power of man, Lord God. We know there is powers and, and principalities even in the heavenly realms, God, but our weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are not of ourselves. They are from you and they are mighty mm -hmm. in God and through God to the pulling down of strongholds, Lord Jesus. Yes. Father, we thank you for the work of righteousness right now, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you that your people, Lord God, shall not be scattered about, Lord God, in dissension and division and confusion, Lord Jesus, but that we will walk, Father, loving one another, pursuing harmony yes. with one another, God. Jesus. Not evaluating one another based on appearance, oh Jesus. Mm. But by our hearts, Father, for you are after the heart, hallelujah. Jesus. There is one baptism, one God, one Father of all. Though Thanks we are many, God. we are one in the name of Jesus. Amazing. Though there's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as you are one God, we are one with Thank you, you Lord Jesus. let our house be found in right standing with you lord Thank jesus you. god deepen our connection to one another that Thank we will you. choose to give our brother and sister the benefit of the doubt lord god that we are quick lord god to cast off offense and confusion mm -hmm. and misunderstanding in the name of jesus father give us the language lord god to connect with our brother and sister give us yes. the language lord god father even now in our prayer to stay connected with you to stay yes. rooted and grounded in agreement and oneness with you god yes and may lord. you contend with those who contend against our unity and our oneness and our peace yes. that you have promised us father for the kingdom of god is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, Father. And those who contend with that, contend with your kingdom, Father. And your kingdom, oh, no, no, no. Lord God, is an everlasting kingdom, Lord Jesus. Your kingdom devours all other kingdoms, Lord God. Oh, yes. kind of, we need your power. We need the higher power of the Most High, Lord Jesus. Yes. Father, set us up, Lord God, for greater breakthrough, Lord Jesus. And let your power come upon us unannounced, Lord Jesus. And cause us right now, Lord God, to loose the chains of wickedness and to break yokes off of people in our midst, our neighborhoods, and our cities, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Give us the endurance to remain in peace, the city of Jerusalem, God. For you are the Lord who is peace. You are Jehovah Shalom. 
Make us whole, oh Jesus. Because God, before you add to us, Lord God, there must be healing. The leaves come before the fruit, Lord Jesus. The leaves are for the healing of the nations. Yes, Lord. Heal, heal, heal. Make us whole. You desire peace and wholeness for us, God. And we desire for us what you desire for us, God. Yes. That we may grow, Lord Jesus. And we will show forth the fullness of the measure of the stature of Christ. Yes. Yes. Father, hear our prayer, O oh God. I thank you, Lord, for the agreement of prayer today, Lord Jesus, and petitioning. I thank you, Lord God, by your spirit permeating our hearts and causing mm. everybody on this call, Lord God, to be so knitly joined together, Lord. Yes. Though we don't even know each other very well, Lord God, by the mm -hmm. spirit we are connected, by the spirit we are joined, by the spirit we cover one another. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord God. Father, we cover right now, Father, our destinies and our purposes with the blood of Jesus. Yes, I plead the yes. blood of Jesus Christ over the destiny and purpose of every single person on this call right now. That their yes. mission will not be aborted in the name of in Jesus. Name Chica, of I come against the lay in the spirit in the name of Jesus. And Amen. I pray right now that you release acceleration, Father. Because Thank you declared you. that the time would be shortened for the sake of the elect because the days are evil, hallelujah. And we come Father. in agreement that you will shorten the time for the sake of your elect, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Father, to you be all glory, Father. Thank Praise you. and honor. You, we contend, Father, as one body, as one people, as one voice, as your voice, Lord Jesus connected and knitted together in the spirit father prompt us daily lord jesus to give everyone the benefit of the doubt to know one another after the spirit hallelujah to know one another after the image and likeness that you created them in yes lord. that we may manifest your love and we may hold on to the peace god I thank you, Lord God, for building up a hedge of protection around our unity in the spirit. Protect the oneness that you have ordained, O oh God. Hallelujah. And give us a passion and a zeal to war after our unity. To take it personal, Lord Jesus, that we will fight against things that come to divide and separate. We will cast Lord, down every high thing and vain imagination that exalts itself Lord, against the oneness of God, against the unity of the spirit Lord, and the people of God. We cast it down in the name of Jesus. We cast down confusion and assumption Lord, and presumption Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. And let the truth Lord, of God be exalted in our midst. Hallelujah. Let the righteousness of God be exalted in our midst. Let the peace of God now be exalted in our midst. In the name above all names, amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Give a shout, hallelujah, and mute yourself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your sweet name. Praise you, Jesus. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. With the cross of Jesus, going on before. Christ, the royal master, leads against the foe. Forward into battle, see his banners go. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. With the cross of Jesus going on before. At the sign of triumph, Satan's host doth flee. On then Christian soldiers, 
on to victory. Hell's foundations quiver at the shout of praise. Brothers, lift your voices, loud your anthems raise. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war. With the cross of Jesus, go going on before like a mighty army moves the church of god brothers we are treading where the saints have trod we are not divided all one body we one in hope and doctrine one in charity onward christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. Onward then ye people, join our happy throng. Blend with ours your voices, in the triumph song glory lord and honor unto christ the king this through countless ages men and angels sing onward Christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Glory, Glory. Glory to God. Glory. Blessed be the name Glory. of the Lord. Hallelujah. On to victory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sister Julie. Gertie, Gertie, Bless go you, ahead, Lord. please. Thank you, Lord. 16, verse 18 reads, Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Unto you, eternal Father, Elohim, our Creator. We, your offsprings, come before your presence this afternoon with thanksgiving. We worship you and we praise you because you are the Almighty and there is none greater than you. We lift your name on high. We exalt you because you are God over every pagan God. There is none like you. We thank you this afternoon because you are exalted. Father, as we come, we bring the spirit of pride. 
Father, we know that no one is above you. So help us to realize that when you give us something to do, that we are to serve and worship you and only you. Mm. So this afternoon, we present the spirit of pride. And if there is anyone that is on the Zoom this afternoon, Father, Jesus. that wants to exalt themselves above you, that don't want to do what you ask them to do, mm. Father, we come against that demonic spirit mm. right now. Because it is you that is to mm. be exalted and lifted up. Yes, because we saw what happened with Lucifer when he tried to exalt himself above you. Help us to realize and to know that we were created in your image oh, and in God. your likeness. We were created to serve and mm. to worship you and only you. And mm. so, Father, we yield ourselves to you this afternoon. Yes. We commit ourselves into your hands entirely father mm -hmm. and we say do as you seem to bring honor and glory to you and mm -hmm. only you alone and so father we thank you we thank you sabato for annihilating that spirit of pride mm -hmm. this afternoon mm -hmm. we give you the praise and we give you the thanks we give mm -hmm. you the honor and we give you the glory in the mm -hmm. mighty name of yeshua hamashiach we say thank mm -hmm. you father Thank you, Son. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Pastor Thank you. Cheryl. Thank you. Reading from Philippians. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit, and of one mind, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. And your relationships with one another have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, hallelujah, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Our prayer this day is that we empty ourselves as Christ did. Precious Father, creator of mankind, hallowed be your name. You are holy, you are righteous, you are God, and besides you, there is none other. As you pray the intercessory prayer for your children, and for us, those that would believe because of their testimony, thank mm -hmm. you, Father, that we are here right now on this call. Mm -hmm. 
not by chance, oh God, not by ha happenstance, but God is ordained and set forth. Before the world was formed, this moment in time, hallelujah, was already set. And so we thank you, Lord God, that we can come before you, acknowledging that there is none other but you. You are Lord, you are sovereign. You shed your celestial body and came through the channels of a woman, birth in the world. Many an opportunity you had to show forth your glory, to show forth your power, to show forth your majesty while in the earth, but you did not. Mm. You humbled yourself. Mm. You emptied yourself. You did not let pride, you did not let arrogance, you did not let your majesty, <laughs> the sovereign God, came in the flesh, mm. dwelt among men. Mm. But you remain humble. Mm. Mm, God, that we may empty ourselves before you. Mm. Rid ourselves of everything. We're not asking God that you humble us. No, no. Mm. That is not your responsibility. No, God, it's not your responsibility. If you have to do it, it is not a good thing. Mm. But oh God, that we'd be submissive in humbling ourselves, mm. ridding ourselves of the weights. We don't mm. focus so much on, on, on the weights. We, we know the sin, but it's the weights, those things that hold mm. us down, that bar us down, oh God. May we humble ourselves. May we come before you, opening up our vessels, oh God, as you said, mm -hmm. present your bodies a living mm. sacrifice. How holy and acceptable mm. unto you, which is our reasonable service. Mm. Be not conformed to this world, hallelujah, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, to take on the form of God in us. Mm. May our temples, oh God, be emptied that your Shekinah glory may come and rest oh, no. and dwell within us. Mm. Mm. Abide in us, oh God. Let your love let your glory, let your grace, let your mercy, let your compassion shine mm. forth in us and yeah. shine out to a world, oh God. Mm. When we look on them, God, when we look on the hurting, when we look on the hateful, when we mm. look on those that scorn us, when we look on those that intentionally come against us, we look on them with compassion. We look on them with love. And we recognize that they are a soul there. They are sheep without a shepherd. Mm. Lord God, have your way. Mm. Oh, fill us, oh God. Fill us with your spirit. Mm. Encompass our hearts, our minds, our souls. Mm. That these temples, oh God, mm. may be residents of your glory. Let your glory fill. Let your glory, mm. let your kind of glory permeate mm. the earth through these vessels that have surrendered, mm. oh God, that have emptied themselves of anything that is not like you. Mm. Mm, hallelujah. Mm. Oh, we thank you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Into our chambers, be free, Holy Spirit. Mm. Speak to us gently <coughs> as we close the door. Mm. Heavenly lover, let thy presence hold us. Shekinah, an ending, is all we long for. Mm. Fill us, O oh God, to overflow. Fill us, O oh God, mm. to overflow. Fill us, O oh God, hallelujah, to overflow. Mm. The Lord, wherever we go, there's enough of you and more that will complete the work. It will change lives. For we will be one in you. 
as you are one in your father, that the mm. world may know that you came, hallelujah, mm. and you dwelt among us, oh God, you dwelt among us. Mm. Fill us, oh God. Fill us, oh God. As we, as we mm. willingly Surrender our vessels fit for the master's use. Work in the sky like mm. never before. Work in the sky as only you can. And if there's anything that we're not aware of, if there's something we don't know, God, that is ham ham hampering and or hindering you working with all your might, with all your power, within us. Reveal it, oh God. Bring revelation. Holy Spirit, speak to our hearts. Speak to our minds. Show us mm. who we are. Show us, oh God, that we may, Lord, surrender completely, yield it completely to you, that we may be one. Yeah. That when we go like a mighty army, <laughs> moves the church of God. Mm. Moving in victory, moving in power, mm. moving in love, moving mm. in charity, moving mm. in compassion, hallelujah, moving in power, oh God. Mm. For you are within us and you're working through us. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Son. Thank, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, For thine is the kingdom. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Thine is the power. And thine is the glory forever. Hallelujah. And ever. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. It is so. Hallelujah. So let it be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah for your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, unto your holy name, oh God, we lift our voices. We give praise, oh God, and honor to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sisters and brothers, I'll be reading to you from 1 Corinthians 12. I thank you for the time and listening. And I'm reading from the message version. So I pray that you understand all these gifts have a common origin but are handed out one by one by one spirit, the spirit of God. He decides who gets what and when. You can easily enough see how this kind of thinking or either this kind of thing works by looking no further than your own body. Your body has many parts, limbs, organs, cells, but no matter how many parts you can name, you are still one body. It's exactly the same with Christ. By means of his one spirit, we all said goodbye to our partial and piecemeal lives. We each used to, we each used to independently call our own shots, but then we went and entered into a large and integrated life, which he has final say over everything. This is what we proclaim in the world and action when we are baptized. Each of us, now a part of his resurrection body, refreshed and sustained at one fountain, his spirit. We're called, we're all, we're all come to drink. We are all come to drink or where we all come to drink. The old label we once used this is important. The old labels we once used to identify ourselves, labels like, and they're here, they say Jews, Greeks, slaves, or free, but we put everything before Christian, but now Christian should come first because we're now in Christ. Hallelujah. So 
are no longer useful because we're in the body of Christ. We need something larger, more comprehensive. The way God designed our bodies is a model for understanding our lives together as the church. Every part dependent on every other part. The part we mention and the part we don't mention. The parts we see and the parts we don't see. If one part hurts, every part hurts. Part is involved, all parts are involved in the hurt and in the healing. If one part flourishes, every part enters into exuberance. Uh, Pastor Dye, you asked me um, something to make mention about the military. The unity that is required in the military for any particular mission is absolutely essential. When my sister, I believe it was Utica, as she was singing and she was talking about Onward Christian Soldier, it's absolutely, absolutely important to understand that that banner that goes before those troops, it gives notice as to who's in charge, who's leading, who's coming, what's happening. Our living God, we follow him. We follow him, and he leads us in the battle, and actually he does battle for us. So we as the body of Christ, we're responsible for championing his cause. And because of that, as I pray, I want to give thanksgiving more than anything because it is him that's doing all the work, and we are his people. As the Bible says, the sheep of his pasture. We're the ones being led according to the authority and will of his spirit, as we heard. It's the one spirit, not multiples. One body, doing all of this in unison for his glory. Praise God, Father, in the name of Jesus. It is your mighty hand that moves us, that gives us strength. It is your great arm that delivers us, O oh God. Father God, is your righteous right hand. Father God, that does all of the work. Lord God, we're mere recipients, and we bow down humbly before you, saying thank you, God, with all of our heart and all of our mind. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you. For what you're doing. Thank you for the things that you will do. Mm-hmm. Father God, for you said your thoughts are of peace and not of evil, but to give us a future and a hope. And because of that, we mm-hmm. praise you now with great expectation. Mm-hmm. Lord, not just to receive things, but to see the victory in the kingdom of heaven. Father God, that you will grant us the wisdom as this whole text talks about the gifts that you've given to men, that you will grant us wisdom on how to use them to advance your kingdom whether it is to prophesy or if it is discernment, no matter what the gift is, Lord, that it be used for your glory. Father, that we not seek honor for ourselves, but that, Lord, we use it to attain the goodness that you intended in this earth, the good works that you prepared for us in advance to do. Father God, we are soldiers in your army, doing the will and work that you've called us to do. We have surrendered our lives for your purpose, God, to do your will and your work. So, God, let us not exalt ourselves and think of ourselves more highly than we ought to, but humble ourselves and trust that you will lift us up where we need to be lifted up. In due season, according to your appointment and according to your will, Lord God, let us not chase after fame glory. Lord God, but let us begin to die to self. Decrease, Lord God, that you may increase. Lord, that your voice may be heard, Lord God, from the heart that we speak from that you become the Lord of our heart, the Lord of our life, the Lord of our mind, the Lord of our soul, loving you with all that we are, O oh God. Father God, in understanding you and then letting that love move forward, Lord God, out into our community and speaking to people according to the will and the word of you that you've ordained, O oh God, that there may be true healing, O oh God, that, Lord God, there may be true deliverance, O oh God, that strongholds really will be broken, O oh God, That, Lord God, we're not just sitting with kindly messages that, Lord God, placate the person when they really need to be healed. They need love, God. They need the true love from you, Lord God, love that is right, the love that is true, the love that breaks down barriers, and, Lord God, rescues, oh God, the one that delivers, Lord God, the one that brings forth justice according to that which you've ordained, oh God. Lord God, not according to our minds. Lord God, not according to how we think, but that we've surrendered it and said, Lord, thy will be done. Mm -hmm. Father God, that thy will be done above all things, even above my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Lord, I commit my actions and my deeds to your hands, Mm -hmm. that your glory may be seen. Mm -hmm. 
that, Lord God, I would even die to myself in the sense that when I'm in an argument, I will yield that you may speak, O oh God. Father God, that homes may be healed, that there will be humility in the homes, O oh God. Hallelujah. That, Lord God, as these words are spoken, that the hearts will begin to surrender and repent of the sin of turning to pride, turn back to the Lord and bow down and trust that he will take care of the very situations that are at hand. Mm -hmm. That we will humble, that we will wail, that we will cry. God, thy will be done, even against our own flesh. Thy will be done, God. That holiness and righteousness be seen. That peace and justice may come forth. Lord, let us be instruments of you. That, Lord, we truly be the clay, Lord God that you mold us and make us according to that which you have ordained us to be. Fashion us according to your will, O oh God, that we stay in your hands, O oh God. And as you sanctify us wholly, O oh God, and clean us up for your use, O oh God, that your will be done out of our lives, O oh God. Help us to not think higher of ourselves than we ought to. These are gifts that you've given to us for your glory. These are things that you have poured on us for your glory, O oh God. This is your work. We are the creation of your hand. So God, have mercy on us and teach us and lead us and guide us in all truth according to that spirit that you put in us, O oh God. Help us to humble ourselves and listen and say yes. When you call us to love beyond measure, O oh God, when you call us to love when we feel like we've been wrong, when you called us to love, Lord God, when it seemed that it was very deliberate, oh God, but you mm. say, humble yourself and trust me that I will make it right. I am the God that you should trust. Lord, then we will see righteousness break forward. Father, when we die to ourselves, when we humble ourselves and trust the move of your mighty hand, Lord, we will see righteousness come forward. Father God, we cry because we don't want to receive heartache oh. and we don't want to see, mm. receive pain. We don't want mm. to receive the trials that come with this mm. life of confession. Mm. But you've called us to this life. Mm. You called us to this life. Lord God, and you said for your sake, Lord God, we should trust and know that we will suffer persecution. But that, Lord God, you are there with us in this thing. And that you've strengthened us to go through this thing. Mm. Father God, because when people see you in us, you, when you are lifted up, Lord God, you will be the drawer of all men. Mm. Lord, so let us decrease mm. that you may increase in us. Let us find our place of humility and begin to speak aloud your name, Lord God. Yeah. Let us not proclaim greatness of ourselves. Let us not yeah. lift this flesh up, which is offensive to you, O oh God. Yeah. Let us die that yeah. we may live unto you, God. Yeah. Let our words be fruitful, Lord. Yeah. Let them be flavorful to those that taste it and want the life that you've given Ooh. Let us be fruits, Ooh. the trees that bear fruits of righteousness. Let us be those people that you called for in this day and time that we will stand for justice, honesty, and integrity. Let us be men in the homes of our families, priests, standing yeah. up, teaching our children, talking to our wives, honoring them as you honored us, Lord God, going away to prepare a place for us, Lord yeah. God, and being careful to love us. Yeah. Even in our failed state, you love us. Let us as husbands see beyond the fault and begin to minister the word of truth. Lord God, and I pray for the sisters that, Lord, as they're in a place, and it may be a hard place, but that they will begin to cry out and yes. trust that, Lord God, you will take care of the situations at hand. Yes. Be it the children, be it the husband, be it the job. No matter what the situation is, let your word prevail. Yes. That, Lord, they will say, nonetheless, I trust you, not my will, but thy will be done, Lord God, mm. that your glory may be seen. For who knows how that house will be sanctified? 
Mm. Lord, let us do what you say, mm. that we may see what you say. For God, we are your people. We thank you for your love for us. Mm-hmm. Lord God, we are undeserving of it, but you gave it anyway. Mm. You pursued us, and you lavished on us love unearned. Mm. Lord God, and even love unending. Mm. Your mercies mm. are immeasurable, O oh God. Your name is great, and it is greatly to be mm. praised. There is no God like you, no God before you, and never will there be one after you. You are the only true living God, the great yes, I am. Father God, we yes. worship you, and we praise you, and we ask you to continue yes. to sanctify us and make us holy. Help us to stand strong. Continue to lead us and guide us in all truth according to your holy word. Help us to stay this journey yes. all the way to heaven's door, O oh God. Lord, let us do your will while we're here in yes, this earth. Lord. Help us, O oh God. Help us. Lord, even as David said, purge yes. us. Clean us up. Lord God, chastise us, but don't take your spirit. Lead us. We need you, and we want to be for you in this earth. We want to be. Lord God, let us examine ourselves, yes. not just ask for forgiveness, but let us repent. Let us turn back to you, O oh God. Let us not just be sorry, but let us turn Hallelujah. back to you. Let us not just be sorry, God. Hmm. Lord, let us not be sorry just to be sorry for the sake of trying to make it seem good, but let us do good by turning away from that thing that does not please you. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. all we pray is thy will be done and you be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray and I say thank you, God, and amen. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Everyone, Amen. Everyone, everyone. Come on, everyone. Amen. 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 Glory be to the Lord. Worthy of the Lamb. Worthy of Praise his wonderful name. Thank you. Thank you. Pazia, are you there, Sister Bo? Hallelujah. Sister Bo, are you there? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Right now. (laughs) Amen. Could you just go ahead and put song to it? We are one in the spirit, we are one in the Lord, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity may one day be restored, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We shall walk with each other. We shall walk hand in hand. We shall walk with each other. We shall walk hand in hand. And together we spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christian by our love. <coughs> Amen. 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 They'll know that we are Christians by our love. Thank you so much. We're one in the spirit. Praise be his holy name. (laughs) Mr. Julie, will you go ahead with your reading for us, please? After which, Prophet Bonds, would you just jump right on in? Thank you. Acts chapter 2, verses 42 
to 47, the New Living Translation. The believers form a community. All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over all them and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. And a blessing has already been added to the word of God. Amen. 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 Such, such a powerful word. God's word is the most important thing. This entire planet, the universe is built on words. We know that Genesis chapter one, God spoke his words and everything that God said materialized and manifested to the point where when he visualized it, the completed product, he said, now this is good. And I believe that as we continue to read his word, as we continue to digest on the teachings that he has given us, he looks at our individual lives and he says, you know what, this is good. I believe that is the, the greatest thing that we can do to please our father. He requires us to not only study his word, but he requires us to live by his words. And we often call ourselves the high priests. We call ourselves the ambassadors and citizens of the kingdom. And citizenship, proof of citizenship in this kingdom is for you to be a witness, to be a witness of God's greatness, to be a witness of his glory, to be a carrier of his glory. And so we've talked, I've listened to the prayers and the scriptures that have been read, and they have really enriched me. The prayers sessions, they have really enriched me because every speaker, every petitioner of God's word has declared that we are in a season now where we are to see the manifestation of his glory. We are to see the manifestation of his power. We are to be like that early movement, the early ecclesia, where they gather together and everything among them was common. We're not just talking about common in the bank accounts and in the property. We know that they shared those resources as well. Uh, the, the socioeconomic system of the early ecclesia is something to be desired right now in 2020. We cannot see our fellow man suffering. And we just say, well, you know, I, I, I pray that God would strengthen him. And then you go home and you enjoy your fast food and whatever other products that you have, your, your nice TV and, and those things. We have a lot of people who are in disparaging times. A lot of people are suffering economically. And to be the ecclesia, to be the called out ones in this generation requires a heart of compassion. It requires a, a heart of humility. It requires us to fulfill the promises and the expectations that God has placed on us. And so if we are really the kingdom ambassadors as God has ordained, if we are really the glory carriers, then we have to pay attention to what God's word says about kings and the glory. There was one prophet in particular who spent a lot of time around God's temple, not physically, but prophetically, spiritually. And we're talking about the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel witnessed within the first 10 chapters of his book. He witnessed the glory of God actually departing from the temple. In fact, his visions were so violent that God would often grab him by the locks of his hair. 
as Ezekiel puts it, he testifies that God would grab him by the locks of his hair and carry him in visions into Jerusalem. At the time, Ezekiel was actually living in Babylon. He was from the first subjects who were taken into captivity before Judah fell. So he was an early subject in Babylon living under Nebuchadnezzar. The temple was still standing whilst Ezekiel was in Babylon. And so God would often take him to Babylon, I mean, sorry, to Jerusalem to visit the temple. And God had to explain to his prophet that my glory is actually going to leave this place because the people who I've appointed to be kings and priests of my work, they're not doing what I asked them to do. And so you spend about 20 chapters visualizing from Ezekiel's perspective the way that God's glory would leave the temple. And Ezekiel would often come back depressed from these visions because in his mind, he always thought that there would be people in Jerusalem who would honor God, who would serve him, and they would eventually lead this charge to take the captives out of Babylon and bring them back to Jerusalem. And Yahweh is saying, no, that's not how it's going to happen. But Ezekiel also saw something that was very fascinating toward the end of his book. He saw the glory of God coming back to the temple. And that's what we're asking for in 2020. In fact, that's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for the glory of God to come back into the body of believers in a mighty and in a dynamic way. But there are just two or three things that we have to do to make sure that the glory of God not only comes back, but it remains with us so that it can protect us and move us forward so that we can be the witnesses that God expects us to be. And so in Ezekiel chapter 43, Ezekiel details God's perspective on how to get the glory back. And he explains it in the first eight verses of Ezekiel chapter 43. And he says this, Then the man led me to the outer east gateway, and I saw the glory of the God of Israel coming from the east. So God's glory had actually left the temple. The first place it left was the Ark of the Covenant that went and stood over the temple porch. And then it went to the courtyard. And then it went to a mountain in the east. And then it vanished and Ezekiel did not find it again. And it took about 30 chapters for God's glory to now come back. And so Ezekiel is watching this moment with fascination. So he said, I saw the glory of God coming back from the east. It sounded like the roar of rushing water. And its brightness was, and its brightness made the earth shine. The vision I saw was like the vision I had seen when God came to destroy the city, and also like the vision I had seen by the Kibar River. I bowed face down on the ground. The glory of Yahweh came into the temple and through the east gateway. Verse 5 says, Then the Spirit picked me up and brought me into the inner courtyard. There I saw God's glory filling the temple. I want to let you know God's glory doesn't fill the temple at the snap of the fingers. It's a process. And God walks this process through so that we understand how intimate this connection is to him. He can do it in an instant. But what God wants to do is he wants to make sure that we appreciate him so much that he does it slowly. And God has been filling the temple slowly. In our midst, God has been filling our ministry slowly. But when it comes toward the end of the matter, God is going to do this work quickly. And so I, I'm here to tell you, at, you're at the end of the matter. This is just the beginning for the world, these pandemics and whatnot. This is the beginning for the world. But for those who believe, this is the end of the matter. Because now he's about to elevate people who will be witnesses for him. People who will be glory carriers for him. Uh, people who will live a prosperous, a blessed, a healthy life just so that there is a witness on this planet that God still does great things in 2020 and 2021 and the years to come. And this is what God always needs. There always has to be a Goshen when Egypt is suffering under intense plagues. And God is pulling a people together who will be those witnesses for him. Verse 6 says, as the man stood at my side, I heard someone speaking to me from inside the temple. The voice said to me, human, this is where my throne and the place where my feet rest. I will live here among the Israelites forever. The people of Israel will not make my holy name unclean again. Neither the people nor their kings will make it unclean 
with their sexual sins or with the dead bodies of their kings. So God is saying there are two things that really contaminate the temple. It's the sexual perversions and it's the dead bodies of the kings. He's talking to us. So if you want to be the glory carrier that God expects you to be, if you want to be the royal priesthood that he has already mandated for you to be, you have to get rid of the dead things. Sin is a dead weight. Stumbling blocks, they're dead weights. Relationships, sexual relationships outside of marriage, before marriage, in between marriage, those are all dead weights. And God is saying, I need you to get rid of those things. You know, And those are the big things. But then there are things that can trap us that are small but easy. I'm talking about like the lying. I'm talking about the slandering and the gossiping. Those kinds of things, those are actual dead things as well. They contaminate the body. Not God's holy temple, but your physical body. They contaminate the body. And God set a system in place in Ezekiel, in this eighth, in this eighth verse of Ezekiel chapter 43, that we have to honor. Uh, I, I heard somebody say before, you know, God, if, if you're in, the, dri if you're in the, the driver's seat and God is your co-pilot, then you need to switch seats. That's not how it's supposed to be. You are supposed to be the driver. If God wanted to be the driver of your car, then that means that he is dictating where you go and you don't have a choice. God actually wants you to be the driver of the car and he wants to be the co-pilot because the person who is the co-pilot, they have the most say. You think of it this way, the person in, in the old times before the GPS, the person who was in the passenger seat, that was the person who had the map. They were the person who was navigating. And so if the driver ended up in the wrong place, it's because they had a terrible map reader. God wants to be the map reader in the car. He wants you to drive, but he wants you to ask him where you need to go. The problem is we have our own ideas of where we want to go. And not only that, God also does not want to live in your house completely. God's perfect system for leadership and governing from the kingdom standpoint is a duplex system. You're saying, what does that mean? I mean, God wants to live on one side of the house and God wants you to live on the other side of the house. And God wants all the choices that you make on your side of the duplex to be so holy and just that you don't contaminate his side of the duplex. That's the way he wants to live. And Ezekiel 43 verse 8 says that, Plainly, it says, the kings made my name unclean by putting their doorway next to my doorway and their doorpost next to my doorpost. So only a wall separated me from them. That's a duplex system. You're only separated by a thin wall. And he said, when they did their acts that I hate, they made my holy name unclean. And so I destroyed them in my anger. So the way that God wants to work is God wants his spirit to come in and live right next to your flesh. And he wants all the choices that your flesh make be choices that are righteous, choices that are holy, choices that are pleasing, acceptable to his word so that you don't contaminate the area that his spirit is supposed to encompass and then his spirit has to leave. God wants to abide with you. He wants to be in the midst of your family, in your business, in your finances, but he does not want you to offend him by the choices that you make. And so as we talk about being humble, as we talk about the glory of God coming back into our presence and into our bodies and into our marriages and into our relationships, into our finances, into our wallets, we have to make sure that the finances that we utilize, we don't use the finances to purchase pornography or cigarettes, or alcohol, or all of these things that God said is detestable to him. Make sure that everything you do lines up with God in holiness, and righteousness, and truth. Even the things you look at on Facebook and on YouTube, they cannot contaminate God's vessel. We need God in every single area of our lives, because right now we cannot do anything without him. We cannot reign without him. We cannot drive without him. We cannot go anywhere without him. We can't eat without him. We need him. We need his protection. And if you understand that, then you understand that you have to live by the principles that he has set forth for you as a kingdom ambassador. Ambassadors do two things. They represent a country and they are paid by the country. So if you represent heaven, 
then your salary comes from heaven. And if you're dependent on heaven, then you don't want to offend the king of heaven. Because that's the, that's the recipe for you to get fired. And I don't want to see anybody demoted in 2020 and in 2021 for disobedience and for disregard to the constitution of heaven. I want to see people promoted for God's work. I want to see people promoted and elevated to statuses and statures of high esteem in government and politics and business. I want to see people who are kingdom citizens prosper and be in good health and teach others and build areas and, and, and realms of protection for those who do not know truth so that they can come into the fullness of truth in a safe space. These are the kind of things that God is interested in. And this, you, you create something like that, you create a space like that, his glory will dwell in those places. So as we search for God's glory and as we ask God's glory to come in, let's make sure that we are creating spaces where we, we protect the shared wall between us and the Holy Spirit, where we protect God's name, where we don't do things and we don't condone sin, unrighteousness, unlawfulness, but we rest, remain, and abide in God's grace, his love, and his truth. God bless you, and I pray that God will continue to strengthen each of us so that we can make the choices to be healthy, to be whole, to be prosperous in this new year that God has blessed us to see. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Powerful Amen. 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 Powerful. Amen. 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 Amen our lives, every area, cannot make it without and no other hope. Amen. Amen. He wants to be in the midst of it all. There's absolutely nothing to minute um, for him to um, be involved with. He, he must be involved in every, he's concerned about every detail of our lives. He wants to, he wants you to drive but ask him where to go. We praise him, we praise him, we praise him. Yes, indeed, we are glory carriers, and we must be sure that we do not pollute, we do not contaminate, um, get rid of the dead things, get rid of the dead things. The little foxes that spoil the vine, the lying and the slander and the gossip and all of those other little things. And Father is requiring this of us in this hour more than ever, more than ever before. And um, we just praise him. It is the will of the Father that we prosper and be in good health as our souls prosper. That is um, what he desires for us. And so we are... We come together during these times to ask him to, to touch us, touch us once again. And, and the prayers that are being prayed and the, 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 the word that comes forth during these times. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it, it's helping us. He, 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 he wants, he, he desires to help us. We've, we've had many big but empty words for too long. And so the, the time has come. The rubber meets the road now. It's this time for elevation, and um, we are to be um, open and receptive to the workings of the Holy Spirit in this hour, and to be good listeners, to hear him. And he's been speaking all evening through these prayers and the word that's been coming forth, and he's been speaking to our spirits. And if you received, I just want you again to just go ahead and 
Uh, the mutual microphones and just go ahead and give him the praise if you yes lord if hallelujah the jesus the question has been hallelujah. So, hallelujah jesus hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. it's time to settle the question hallelujah 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 praise be to god i live god i die you know it is very right now hallelujah temporary This is to restore authority and power. That's right. Authority, the authority that he's given to his uh, body of believers in the earth. He's given it to us. And it, 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 this is the hour of restoration. You know, we, we, we must know who we are. And we must operate um, like kingdom citizens. That's who we are. Yeah. Restore authority yeah. and power. And we thank him for the mighty Russian wind that's blowing in even right now on this call. Glory, <laughs> glory, 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 glory. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God. Yeah, not one will be the same. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Only you, Jesus. Only you, God. God is touching and transforming. Amen. He knows our hearts and he deals with the hearts of men. Oh, bless his name. This is so rich. We appreciate him so much, so much, so much. Not our wills, but his be done. Bless his name. Mm. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, amen, amen, amen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Woo, woo, woo. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Sir, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. This is that hour. Many long to see this hour, but they did not see it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You are so Hallelujah. Yes. 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 I'm just sitting here thinking. I'm sorry, sister. Just, just meditating and thinking as you're doing. Right now, you're right. I'm listening to what you're saying. This is powerful. This is powerful. The Lord wants to do something deeper. Yes. And it's going to take. The word is called repentance. It really is, sister. To where we turn, literally turn. It is not enough to say I'm sorry. Mm. It is not enough. Mm. He wants a heart change. He wants us to turn mm -hmm. and begin to submit. Mm -hmm. Because we can say what we want to say, but God says, I'm looking at your heart. That's it. And, and we have to know that. Amen. And then the, the statement of God is not finished with me yet is not good enough. Mm -hmm. We're not submitting to be finished. Mm -hmm. We're walking away before we're done. Mm -hmm. And we come back to just say, do some more. But God said, I need to do the work in you. <laughs> it's yes. an in you. It's not an on you. It's an in you. Amen. We got to turn back and mean it. You know, this is not a, a halfway thing. Because mm. what he is doing, it's got to be a finished thing. Yes. Sanctification. It's, it's as if we're saying to God, give, let us be a glass for you, but we refuse to be clean. Mm. That is an offense. He will never give someone a drink from a dirty glass. No. We are not meant to be dirty glasses. We have to submit for the cleaning. Yes. We have to trust that when he fills us with whatever he fills us with, he's going to use us and then sanctify us again. Mm -hmm. Because we're meant for his use. Yes. <laughs> right now, as as the brother said, the glory coming back. Right, we are His temple. Yes, 
and we want his spirit to dwell here. We want him to be pleased to dwell here. Mm. Fish out <laughs> mm. But until we begin to say yes, we can't tell God I got needs or either you didn't come soon enough. Mm. He is either God or he's not in your life because he's always going to be God. Yes. But we are supposed to trust him. That's the only thing he's called us to do because it's going to look hard. It's going to look impossible, but he's going to show you that he's working this for a reason. We have to trust him if we're going to trust him. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Yay, yay. Amen and amen. My God, my God. Amen. Wow. Thank you. This is all so wonderful, so marvelous, so mighty. But we all, with Mm -hmm. open faith, it's going to happen with total openness. Oh, total openness to the workings of the Holy Spirit in and um, through us at this hour. And it's all about advancing the kingdom, not to bring any attention to ourselves or anyone else, you know, okay. but, but, but it's all for the glory, the glory of Jesus, all for his glory. Um, being knitted together, and again, this is the hour of acceleration, so, you know, um, we we got to move from where we are to where he is. <laughs> it, 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 Do it, it Jesus. Uh, it, it, it's him. It's him. Lift him up. Lift him up. And as we lift him up, um, he will do the drawing. We must decrease that he must increase, that he will increase. Amen. Yeah. I see you, my son, Ashton. And i um, so good to have you here. And I know we were talking about this the other day. Those of you who had... Um, um, joining in, jumping in a little late, um, we're actually, uh, our focus was centered around standing as one in this hour, standing as one, and um, the importance of the, the body, the use of the body, but all the comely and the uncomely parts, all are special to the Father, and um, he's um, making demands of us in this hour, and we must just know that he is large and in charge. <laughs> Uh, we need to give the reins back to him. We've had the reins for too long. We need to give it back to him and um, just allow his love to flow through us. And, and um, you know, we, 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 he's just given us so much today. So Ash and Sandy, I believe you may be there. Sandy, if you would you, um, save your prayer for us um, for when we're separating, please. Um, um, Ashton, would you go ahead and listen? Yes, ma'am. I'm going uh, I'm to try to compact everything that is, that's been burning inside of me concerning this, because even before I um, uh, didn't get even to everyone, by the way, but even before you, you address this to me, this has been something that has been in my spirit. Uh, I don't want no one to, t- to misunderstand what I'm saying, but uh, it, what I'm saying is a little harsh. You know what I mean? Seeing that a lot of us has been, have been on this walk and this journey for a while. And, you know, in our culture, from what I've been observing as I, as I now continue to grow and grow in God, I've been saying, God, okay, now it's been a burning desire in me to never become complacent. I've been growing up in the Bahamas where 10, I've seen people 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Uh, whether it be it could be pastors, leaders, just normal folks in the kingdom of God. And we're doing the same thing over and over. And we binding it up, we binding it up spirits, and we're doing this, and we we got the loudest hallelujahs, and there's a lot going on, but we're not elevating. Uh, let me don't say that we're not elevating, let me correct what I'm saying. We're not moving, or we're not expecting. But we're not seeing the movement and the glory of God the way we truly desire it. And uh, so I said, I've been saying to myself, I said, Lord, it got to be more than this. It has to be more than pastor, or it has to be more than the prophet just coming forward with a prophetic word and, you know, you know uh, uh, feeding of the poor, and all of these things, that, that, which is very, very good. Let me don't, let me don't, let me don't, no, don't knock that. But it's a different glory. It's a different realm. 
that will not happen and do. So now when I compare back, we look at the body of Acts. We're, re what we're, requiring, we're requiring God's power, God's anointing, God's glory. We're re requiring, requiring the fire of God, but we're not doing what Moses used to do. We're not doing what David those used to do. We're not doing what John the Baptist those used to do. We're, we're, we're not taking the time and separating ourselves from society, period. This is not a bribe or anything of that nature. I just decided, I said, oh, God, this is what I'm going to do. In a couple of weeks, I'm, I'm about to finish off. And I'm saying this so we can, so I can encourage you guys also to think about it, to think about what I'm saying. I just was talking to one or two of my friends. I said, listen to me, I'm going to shut down my phone for some days. I'm going to the beach. I ain't taking no soap. I ain't taking no towel. I just take in water, my Bible, books. My fishing and I, I sleep on that beach, and I get into the presence of God. I ain't listening to no, I ain't listening to no Tasha Corbs. I ain't listening to no Alvin Slaughter. I'm not listening to Kirk Franklin. I sing in the praises from from the, from the gut of my stomach, and I ain't leaving that, and I'm not leaving that beach for two days. And I come out there, Father God, the same way John the Baptist was, was in the wilderness, and the same way Moses then was in the wilderness. When they shut themselves off from everyone completely. See, when we want something from God, we 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 we, we asking God to give us his glory and this anointing, but we just doing the normal things, what we was trained or what we was taught to do. So I say, God, you know what? It's time for me to do something different. Because there's a realm, there's a heaven that we're not touching. And no matter how much we bind up. And no matter how much we keep praying over and over and over and over and over again, yes, there are things, there are certain things that God would answer, but there are certain, there are certain levels to this. I just had a conversation. I say, God, I need you. Now I say, I've been in the Bahamas for a long time. I've been in America for a long time. But what I'm seeking, I'm not seeing. So I say, God, I need you to connect me with someone that is, that is in tune and knows and know where the places are. This was just yesterday morning. I prayed this two mornings ago. That knows the people that signs, miracles, and wonders are taking place consistently. And I cried out before him for that. Just yesterday afternoon, I just so happened to run into a foreign missions pastor that knows about, I think his name is John Boinke or something like that. And from, from Lagos, Nigeria, I've just got the connection now. To, to, to go in to, to the pastors that I'm talking but there's a different atmosphere and a different belief. These people, she said, listen to me. She said, you're hungry. She said, I can sense that you're hungry. These people believe God. They have no other choice than to believe God because that's all they depend on. We here in the Bahamas, I'm, I'm not knocking us. I'm just highlighting what, what are the things now, what we are doing. We in the body of Christ, we, we so much, we don't even feel comfortable getting in certain groups with people. We don't even want, we don't even want to, we don't even want to really go, go to prayer meeting. You go to a prayer meeting, it's only five or six people. But if you call people for a prophetic word, the line longer than that from here to Jabim, our priorities are out of whack. And that's why right now, that's one of the main reasons we are not really seeing the movement of God because our hearts, we, we separated, we separated. I can remember, I would go to a pastor and ask a pastor for help. You know, the first thing the pastor would say, but well, who is your pastor? Why your pastor ain't helping? We got so much, we got so much, we got so much rules and regulations that ain't even biblical and scripture. And, but yet we still asking God to move in a mighty and a special way. You understand? So it's like God is saying, Lord, I need you to help me pinpoint what is it exactly what we're doing wrong because I'm 36 years of age. I can count on my five, I can count on five hands on my five fingers. Demon, me seeing demon possessed, demon sleeve, or signs, miracles, and wonders. Truth be told, 
So we got a lot. We got a lot of people that can give you a good, good word, good revelation of the word. They can give you a good hallelujah. They can give you a good hindrero ko satara bandara baha. They can give you a good bring it up. But yet we still ain't seeing no manifestation. So we got to act down real, real act down real good. So I encourage you, as I say that now, now that I put, now that I show the problem, or now that I highlighted that. Now I want to show and explain to you guys, listen to me, it's time now to, let me say, die the flesh and like completely kill this flesh. Even if you have a husband and wife, baby, listen to me, if you ain't going with me to a secret place right now, I can't kick some dead. I don't want to see no phone. I don't want to see no bank account. I don't want to see no one. Only thing I want to do, I, we can hire, we can hire, we can hire, we can hire, um, uh, what's it called? We can hire a, a nurse. We can hire, I mean, a babysitter. They can watch the kids. But I'm a lockdown in this room. I, I answering the phone calls. I ain't doing nothing besides just getting in the presence of God. I ain't drinking nothing. I ain't eating nothing. I sit in here like the woman who said, she said, she doesn't mean she gone to all the people just to touch the hem of his garment. And that's what we really got to do. We really got to sacrifice and put this flesh really on the altar for us to really see the manifestation and watch God's glory come. Because if we keep doing the same old routine, what our pastor tell us to do, and, 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 and what we was taught from the regular, that's, listen to me, we, 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 we ain't to see what God really want, what God has for us. Because Amen. somewhere down the line, somewhere Amen. down the line, there's been, there's been, we, 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 we have not been touching and tapping it the way we're supposed to. You know what I mean? So I just want to encourage you guys to like, let's like really, really take this serious and be intentional about what we're doing now in the kingdom. This is not, it, 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 it's time to go real, real higher. If you, if you used to do a seven day, now go 14 days. If you used to do a 14, let's go 21. Let's yeah. just go harder. Amen. 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 It's time to go higher. It's time to go higher. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Time to thank God for you, um, Brother Ashton. And we praise him for that encouragement. Um, and we um, just talking yes. about turning the plate down. And of course, you know, um, that is something that um, we've just come out of. Well, for a period of time, I'm sure, Prophet Bronze. <laughs> Uh, but um, you know, the Lord's calling us to the fasted life, you know, the fasted life, um, um, just uh, uh, living that life um, that of perpetual fasting and prayer. Um, that is so important at this time. The early apostles, they um, did many extraordinary miracles um, because that's the life that they live and um, the Father wants us. Um, he's not saying, oh, don't eat at all, but, um, you know, um, the, the, the discipline, it's the discipline of fasting and um, in order to, to make sure that um, things that we desire um, and things that the Father desires for us more than anything um, um, come to pass. Some things, is where it says, come on me by prayer and fasting. And if you remember um, in the book of Acts again, around Acts chapter 23, I think it was that um, there, there were those guys who, who, who purpose in their heart, you know, that they, they, they were doing it for, for the wrong reason, of course, um, that they, it was about 40 of them, I think, who banded themselves together against St. Paul. They, they intended to kill him. You know, more than 40 men, you know, they, they cursed themselves and they said, that, you know, they vowed that they will never eat or drink until Paul was killed. And that, was, that again, was for the wrong reason. So why can't we, um, for the right reason, you know, bind ourselves together? And um, I thank God that that um, was done um, here just recently. I, 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 I thoroughly, you know, enjoy that time. and. The results, I, I tell you, the benefits, the benefits of, of fasting and praying is, is it's, um, words are inadequate to describe, you know, and I know that um, um, all those who joined in during that period um, 
but also a test um, to, to um, what has been done um, during that time. So yeah, we, 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 we um, give um, our father praise to young men like um, Brother Ashton, Brother David, and Prophet Barnes, and, and all of the other young men, and Brother Travis, you're, you know, you're, you're young as well. <laughs> Uh, we, 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 just, we, we just appreciate um, the hunger and the thirst and the longing, the desire that you have for, for the things of, 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 of God and the, the building up of the kingdom and the advancing the kingdom of, 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 of God. Amen. We thank God for that. Sandy, are you there? I'm here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, we just... Um, <coughs> Someone else is about to say something. Sandy, you can go ahead and then we'll have an open mic um, after for a few moments. Um, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. We thank you. Yes, yes, well, yes. you are God and God alone. Hallelujah. We thank you for your strength. We thank, thank, thank you. you for your power. We thank you that you're the only wise God, all powerful God. Father, we bow in adoration of who you are. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We honor you, mighty God. Thank you for life, Lord God. Thank you for what you're doing in our midst, Lord God. We want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shabak you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord God, it seems like words are not enough, Lord God, to just, to just pour on you, Lord God. Hallelujah. But Lord God, out of the abundance of our hearts, Lord God, we just want to say we love you, Lord God, for who you are in our lives, for what you have done, for the, for the work that you've done on Calvary, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. God, for saving. Lord God, thank you for your healing. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that we can come before before your throne, Lord God, to receive, receive grace in a time of need, Lord God. We thank you that you are a present help in a time of trouble, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. And as we come tonight, Lord God, lifting up the body of Christ, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for unity, Lord God. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that you are the example of unity, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, according to your word, Father God. Mm. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for the apostles. We thank you for prophets. Mm. Yeah. We thank you, Lord God, for evangelists, the pastors yeah. and the teachers, Lord God. We thank, thank you, Lord God, that you have given, oh God, these, oh God, for the equipping of the saints, Lord God. And Lord, we want to say thank you tonight for them, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that as we go, Lord God, as we rely on you, Father God, to give yeah. us insight, to give us your word, Lord God, a word in season, Lord God. We thank yeah. you tonight, Lord God, and we stand alone on your word for your word. <laughs> word is powerful. Hallelujah. Yeah. We give you all the glory, Lord Jesus. And Father God, we lift up. Hallelujah. And we ask yeah. that you will cover our leaders, Lord God, and yeah. the members of Lord yeah. God in the blood of Jesus. Lord God, we pray that your will and your will alone be done, Father God, in our lives, Father God. Lord, we come before your presence, and Lord God, we repent where we have gone wrong, Lord God. We repent well, when we when you've asked us to pray and we did not pray. We repent, Lord God, when you ask us to fast and we did not fast. We oh. repent, Lord God, when you've called us to obedience, Lord God, and we thought that partial obedience was enough, Lord God. We repent, Lord God. Oh. We repent, hallelujah. Lord, we ask that you will wash us, Lord God. Purify yes. our hearts, Lord God. God, not only that we will repent with our mouths, our lips, Lord God, but Lord God, that our hearts will follow, Lord God. Our, our minds, oh God, and our ways, Lord God, that the activities, Lord God, that we will change, Lord God, that, that we will come out, Lord God, from among them, Lord God, and from the world's way of doing things, Lord God, and we will be separated unto you, Lord God. Lord, clean us up tonight, Lord God. Only you, Lord God, can forgive sin, Lord God. So, Lord, we come with repentant hearts, Lord God. Hallelujah, God, because we know that a, a broken and a contrite spirit, you will not despise, Lord God. So, Lord, hear our prayers tonight, Lord God, as we repent, Lord God. And, Lord God, we're turning to you, Lord God. We're coming back to you, dear Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. 
and we're looking to you and you alone. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. Where we've gone, Lord God, looking for other gods, Lord God, where we're looking to the arms of flesh, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God, because you're our only hope, Lord God. There's no God like our God, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you that the body of Christ will function in the spirit of unity, love, and peace in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that signs and wonders will follow us, Lord God, because we believe healings and deliverance, Lord God, will be form in our lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the supernatural power of God to manifest in our churches, Lord God, in our homes, Lord God, in us, Lord God, at all times, Lord God. Hallelujah. That it will not be on certain occasions, but Lord God, let your spirit rule and reign in us, Lord God. We thank you because the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, it is in us, Lord God, and we want to say thank you, Lord God. Lord God, teach us, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God, to serve you and the beauty of holiness, Lord God. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that leaders, Lord God, will teach and preach your word without compromise, Lord God, in season and out of season, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, let the tangible presence of Almighty God be manifested in our lives, Lord God, in the midst of us, dear Jesus. Jesus. Whatever we do, Lord God, that you will be glorified, Lord God. We all got We lose confusion against every satanic and demonic, demonic uh, conspiracy against the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, let those that gather against the body of Christ be scattered in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you that no weapon that's formed against the body of Christ will prosper. Lord God, we thank you. You said a upon this rock. You yeah. will build your church and the gates of hell shall not yeah. prevail. Lord God, we want to say thank you, Lord God. Thanks, we Father. thank you that we go in the name of the Lord our God. Yeah. We thank you yeah. that we trust you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. Let every plan of the evil one be exposed yeah. and nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, yeah. Holy Spirit. Lead and direct us in the Lead name of Jesus. Lord we want to be led Lord by you and only Jesus you, Lord Lord God. Lord. God. God, we put away our thinking, oh God. We put away, God, our wishes and, and the things, oh God, of the flesh, Lord God. But Lord God, help us be led by your Holy Spirit. Lord God, we thank you for the glory of God manifest in our lives, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. In the midst of us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for the fivefold ministry gifts will yes. manifest yes. in our midst, Lord God. Yes. Hallelujah. God, that it will be a continual flow, Lord God, that yes. it will be yes. the norm for yes. us, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you that the anointing of all the nine spiritual yes. gifts of the Holy Spirit will manifest in our yes. lives, yes. in the midst of us, Lord God, wherever we come together, Lord God, to worship you, Lord Lord God, Lord, ignite, hallelujah, the body of Christ with your fire to heal the sick and cast out demons. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, oh, mighty God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, cover ourselves. In the precious blood of Jesus, we thank you that your blood will never lose its power. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, that your blood is able to reach those, Lord God, as high as the mountains. And Lord God, those that are low, as low as the valleys, your blood is able, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus to every situation. Hallelujah, Lord God, to every activity, Lord God. Oh, God, we acknowledge you in all of our ways. And you said you will direct our path. Lord God, have mercy on us tonight. We're crying out to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Rain on us. Rain on us, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. rain like never before. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we're in a place to receive your rain, your latter day rain, dear Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. We're waiting. 
manifestation of your latter day rain. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah. There's no God like our God. You reign. You reign. Hallelujah. You reign. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, mighty God. Hallelujah. You are great. You are great and greatly to be praised. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you on the Zoom. He reigns forevermore. Jesus. He reigns and he rules yes. forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Come on, everyone. Just give a shout of praise. Give a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Just have an open mic for a few moments um, if you receive something in your spirit that you would like to um, share with us just before we end. Word of wisdom, knowledge, just want to express yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the time to do it. It's a mutual microphone. Blessings, blessings, blessings. To God be all the glory. Great things he's done. Yeah. I thank God for our young brother Ashton. And we can hear the zeal and the fire and inside of him. And I know that way. I know that way. Want it and want it now. Continue to do what you say you will do. Fast and pray. Go before God with your Bible. And always remember, son, that you don't follow the signs. The signs and wonders follow you. So if he, as you go before God, God will give you what you need. Like you say, you have to sacrifice. If you want something you never had before, you have to do something that you haven't done before. So be encouraged and push into God. Push into God. Seek him, seek him, seek him. He say, you know, after you search for me with your whole heart, then you'll find me. And what your desire is, he will grant you. Be blessed and encouraged. Don't follow the signs. Let the signs follow you. Use the word of God to lead you. Okay? Blessings, my son. I, I receive that. I receive every word. And I, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. And, and, and likewise, may the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and divine favor. May God's fire, his consuming fire, his refining fire be upon you and your family and all that's on this on, on this Zoom tonight. I pray that they will leave this Zoom with a different perspective and understanding that we are truly in a war. We, we, when, when we came into this, we came into a war. We didn't just come into this for ourselves, just for us to make it into heaven. We came in this because there are souls over here. I share something real quick, Mom, before I go. I'm actually to work right now. I was just telling this to a lady friend of mine, my lady friend, and as I was telling her this, I'm at, I worked at a homeless shelter and just two, I think it was two days ago, I came back to work from two days off. And when I came back to work, I couldn't come into the office because they was reviewing the camera. And there was a specific guy that a few days ago almost got into a fight and I didn't take the time to really talk to him. But when I came to work that morning, he died drunk as a stump. And that hit me. And it hit me hard, and that's the second time it happened to me. The first time it happened to me when I was in, in prison, and I saw someone in my spirit was drawn to speak with him. But I pushed it to the side. And when I pushed it to the side, the next day, we was, in, we was about to have a lockdown. Give me a second, my dog. Give me a second. I, 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 we, had, we had a lockdown. And one of the old school guys that I was talking to couldn't get into his room. 
And when, when the officer tell him to go into the room, when they open the room door, the guy was hanging. That's two times. Two times, someone, I was led to speak to someone. I could have feel it to speak to them. And I didn't, and they died. We are in a war. And I know I might sound a little, a little aggressive, but I have to speak like this so we can understand. Like you say, that zeal and that passion. And when, I, when you come from a place where you have been eaten of the garbage, when you come from a place where you have been, when you have been in the streets walking around barefoot, when you have been low and you didn't know the enemy trying to kill you, I hate Satan. I don't just think him. I hate Satan. I don't like him. And everything he stands for, I want to destroy through the blood of the Lamb. So every opportunity and everything that's in me to get to that realm, I understand when you say, don't, I, and I receive that, don't follow the signs. But I understand when you're dealing with the masses, people ain't trying to see no more Coke soup and Thai and just a hot meal. We need to be able to move so when we move with the power and the glory of God and we give them glory to People know that's the power of God. Remember in the book of Acts? If you all remember, even the sorcery and the people who was going to witchcraft wanted to buy that power. They wanted, they wanted to buy, they wanted to buy what Peter knows and Paul knows had. Because they saw it was something different. We need to be able to move let people see the difference. They know, listen to me, them people over there, that body over there, them soldiers for Christ, they're moving with God. Whatever, what, what, what you all got, we want. How do, you, how do you get there? And that's what I'm looking for to bring to win masses of souls. You know what I mean? Sometimes we have, we, we have a testimony how we win a soul or two. And that'd be a big, big deal. And it's good. Yes, it is. But, God, but the Bible tells us, he said, listen to me, greater works shall you do. He tells us. We can go higher, our, our, our land will be greater than our former. So that's what we have to seek. We have to seek that intimate relationship with him first, yes. But also now, knowing that we are being engrafted into this army, we have to equip ourselves. And how do we equip ourselves? By continuing fasting and praying and putting our flesh on the altar continuously. Continuously, not just once in a while, but continuously, that's going to be our lifestyle. We have, we, have, we have to separate ourselves from what the world got going on. So, yes, ma'am, I, I appreciate you. I thank you for, for that word. Like you say, not to follow the signs. You know what I mean? And I'll always keep that in remembrance because at the end of the day, when you, when you speak this now, I'm paying attention to the Holy Spirit alerting me. Like she said, don't, don't seek the signs, son. Don't seek the signs. And, and I received that word. And I appreciate you. And I love all of you, mom. You know, I love you, Bronx. You know, I go each and every one of you all on here. You know what I mean? Continue to be encouraged and continue. And, 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 if, and if you feel complacent and if you feel a little down and you don't feel like that nudge to really go there and minister, ask God to give you that fire because it's impossible to have that fire in you to be really connected with Jesus Christ. I don't want to share the gospel. It don't have to be Facebook Live. It don't have to be from a pulpit. But you can want to tell somebody about what Jesus did for you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, my friend Ashton. Yes. And yeah. Sister Doc. Yeah, go ahead, Brother Travis. One of the things about what Brother Ashton is he's, he's saying, uh, it is important for us to understand uh, during, during military time, one of the statements that is made for us when we were training, he's, we are to train as we fight. We train as we fight. That means we're always being prepared for battle, even while we're training. So that, that, but we take that to the Bible. It's to understand that even as we're training, as we fight, live in this life daily, um, we understand that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Mm -hmm. And when we are in this battle and we are waging this war, we need to understand and know our enemy because our enemy knows us. Mm -hmm. The enemy is going to try to use weapons, but we need to be familiar with our weapon because the weapon he tries to use, as we've seen with Christ, was the word. And if we don't understand the word, then we are deceived. And we can be defeated by the thing that was supposed to save us. 
We need to understand our weapon. We need to understand our enemy. We need to understand what we're fighting against. And then understanding that we are to walk in obedience to the commander. Because if we're not walking in obedience to the commander, which is the Lord our God, then we are going to be in trouble. Because the truth of the matter is, as you've seen in the scriptures, the Lord goes before his people and actually do battle. It's our obedience that God wants from us. He says when we come to him, believe that he is. And yes, we will see those things that will be made manifest in us because of our faith and our belief. And what God is saying, then, yes, we can lay hands on the sick. There have been many that have been delivered. It's not, we have to actually do what he says do. And as we're doing that as soldiers, he says that we will endure hardship, but at the same time, we will see victory. Yes. We will see victory. But it takes us trusting the commander that he's leading us. Sometimes we become zealous and we run out because we say we could take it now, but he says, wait. He says, wait. And when he calls us to wait, we need to wait. The the bottom line is for us to be victorious, we need to listen and know the commander's voice and trust when he says go and when he says and when he says do. Because when he says do, it will be it it'll manifest. When he says go, it will manifest. The key is understanding the commander's voice. Because in understanding the commander's voice, you will do what the commander says and you will have that victory. Because he's the Lord God of strategy. He knows what's happening. He knows where we are to stand, where we're to sit, where we're to go. We're not automated puppets, but we're obedient. We have the power to submit. We have the power to say no. And if we say no, we may deal with something we don't want to. But the grace of God is upon us at this appointed time to understand we're a part of what he's doing. Not him being a part of what we're doing. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. So probably. Amen. 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 Very powerful word. Again, I, I mean, you know, you get meat in the first half, you get meat in the second half, and it's a beautiful thing to just be surrounded by God's word. I want to close with just one statement. And I want this statement to be something that lingers on the heart and minds of everybody who has attended the Zoom, who may have had questions, who may have had prayers answered, who may still have things that are up in the air and you're looking for God to manifest certain things, whether it's an explanation on a scripture that you read, whether it's a conclusion of a matter that you've placed before. And it's just one simple thing. God's algorithms are simple. You know, we as mankind, we've made such complex algorithms in science and mathematics and all the heavy subjects, heavy course material. But God's algorithms, they are very simple. In Second Kings, there was a general who was sick. And he was sent to Israel to go and see about the prophets in Israel to get the healing. And he thought that he was going to get the fanfare welcome from the greatest, one of the greatest prophets that took office after Elijah. This is Elisha. Elisha never saw the man. In fact, Elisha sent his servant. He sent the servant. He told the servant to tell him to dip his body in the waters. And the man was so hurt because the instruction didn't make sense to him. He said the waters of Damascus are so much more beautiful than these waters, this Jordan in Israel. Why would I succumb and subject myself to this simplistic view? And his servant said, well, you know, if this was some great epiphany that they gave you and he asked you to jump through hoops and bounds and do all of these great things, then you would have said, you know what? This doesn't make sense. He said, but the prophet gave you a simple instruction. Why don't you just follow the simple instruction? God's algorithms are very simple. And he said, you know, that makes sense. Let me just dip myself in this water. And when he dipped in the water, the Bible said that his skin returned to the smoothness of a baby. Mm -hmm. These are the kind of things that God wants to do, but it's all tied, as Mm -hmm. all of us know, and Brother Travis just alluded to it as well, it's all tied to obedience. obedience. Obedience is the simplest thing that we can do. So if you're looking for God to do great things for you in your life, you know, AC... Brother, you and I, we're on the same page because we're looking for the same thing. We're looking for the greater than, you know, and we, we, we have to see it. 
if we don't see the greater than, then this Bible doesn't make sense. And Yeshua was a liar because Yeshua said that we should see greater than in these last days. But the greater than is also tied to obedience. You, you just can't get the root of the matter is obedience. And so as we leave from this Zoom call, let's appreciate the simplistic things that God will ask us to do. I promise you, this week is not going to ask you to do something difficult. It's going to be simple. It's going to be instead of going, you know, this way on this street to get home, take the other, take the other road. Oh, we in ourselves, we're going to say, you know what? That doesn't make sense because that's going to take me two to three minutes off of my course. I, I can get home this way. Oh. Listen to the simplistic things that God is going to ask you to do this week and do it with joy, not with doubt, not with confusion, not being upset, not worrying about your gas. Whatever he asks you to do, do it with joy. And remember the shared wall. You're in a duplex. So you're living in, 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 in house A and God is living in house B. Don't invite people into the duplex that you know shouldn't be on the property. And you're saying, okay, but well they only come to my side. They ain't coming to God's side. No, no, no. You contaminated, the, you contaminated the whole property. So let's be mindful of those things. Simplistic instructions and take care of God's name. Take care of his property. God bless you all. Have a beautiful evening. I love you. Can't wait to see you again. Have a great week. Amen. Remember to live the life that God has destined you to live. Amen. Amen. Saturday at four, Sunday at six. Same link. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise him. You want to end with a shout? Go ahead and shout. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this great night, this awesome night of praise and worship. Lord praise God and prayer. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, you have the phone. Amen. Blessings to the Black. Blessings to Mel. Blessings to all, all that joined in this evening. Cleo, Rashida. Amen. Miriam, bless you all. God bless. Hallelujah. Amen. No one ever wants to leave. Parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> See you right, on Saturday. <laughs> yes, Amen. on Saturday. Amen. Gertie is inviting all Saturday, Lord willing. Yes. Four o'clock. Same link. Four o'clock. Yes. Yes. Good night. What the Father has, but the Holy Spirit has to bless you. <laughs> Blessings. Praise Him. Blessings. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. God willing, see you on Saturday. Amen. 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 Amen.